Hi, I'm Sundata Yat Vigerial Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C Sharp Programming Series. And our topic for today is about a numbered input. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, click File, then go to New, then go to Project. Now we have here under Win C Sharp Windows, you can click Empty Project and rename the name and its solution name as a number input okay then let's click ok so the solution explorer will provide for you with the C sharp and it name also the number input of the solution explorer now what you need to do is to right click on this part and you can click add then new item after that, you can click code file and you can rename this code file with a number input. Then let's click add. And we have here the uh, text editor of the C sharp environment. And we have the program number input. Okay, let's proceed. So let's type using system. And let's type the second on the second line. We have the name of the class, class number input. Then let's proceed with begin and end. And let's press enter. In the middle of this, we have the public static void name. Okay. And we have here the code blocks. Okay. So we need to type in the middle of this public static void name our code. So the first thing we're going to identify is to type the data type we have. Let's type in x and we have in y. Then we need to uh, initialize this variable x is equals to 0 and y is equals to 0. Then let's provide with an output. Okay. So let's type console that write. Okay. Then let's put here uh, please input a number. Okay. There it goes. So we need to copy this and place it right here. Okay, please input a number in. X okay. in Y. That's it. Then let's provide the X is equals to console that read line. Open and close parentheses. At the same time, right here also Y is equals to console that read line. Okay, uh, then the output screen. So we have here console that write right line. Okay, we have here let's provide with um, x is equals to x plus y x plus y is equals to so we have x plus y is equals to uh, plus uh, x 
plus one. Let's put over those parentheses. That's it. Now you will notice that the console read line under the numeric is considered to be an error right here. So we need to identify the error of this by uh, control F5. Okay, so that's it. So the main reason we have the theme of uh, this code. So what we need to do is to type in that parse and put open and close parentheses okay, inside and outside of the console. The same with Y. Oops. That's it. And right now we don't have any error. Okay, of uh, X and Y. So what we need to do is to press Control F5. And there it goes. Okay. So uh, the main reason of the integer parse is to convert the text string into a number. Okay, because any anything that output on the screen is considered to be a text. Okay, let's put here twenty-three and twelve. So x. y is equal to 35 what's this so x plus y is equal to 35 so we have some errors here but I, let me check again it's only the output okay so let's put 23 enter 12 enter that's it so it's perfect so the last thing we're going to type is like console that read just to hold the screen, okay, for you to see the output. Okay, so we have 23, 12, and x plus y is equal to 35. Perfect. So, uh, hoping this can help you, and thank you for your time watching this video. For more videos, look for my email, syvillarealjr0105975 at yahoo.com.ph. Good luck.